So my name is Zan. I'm from Philly. I'm a female battle rapper. I'm the hottest female battle rapper in the city. What? Um, I'm one of the hottest female battle rappers y'all ever going to hear. Back to cheese. I agree. I agree. Like, what's the origin of your name? Like, where you get your name from? My dad named me. My dad named uh, me. Um, my name's Zamberly, but I just go by Zan for short. And um, then my father named me. One day he just was like, my mom said he passed out a piece of paper when she gave birth to me um, and told her that was going to be my name. And everything else was history. What about, like, like what? I know you're from Philly, man. A lot of questions on here, you know, I already know. You know right. what I'm saying? Hey, what, what part of the city are you from? Um, all right, so that's kind of complicated. I'm from South Philly. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What did they do? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. So I'm from South Philly originally, and then um, my mom moved to Southwest when I was just like a young teen coming of age. And um and then from Southwest, I kind of just moved to like North, Uptown. Like I kind of just bounced around. But my favorite place in the city to live is North, although I'm from South Philly. Back to Roni and Cheese, North Side, they court side. You already know. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. first time I ever heard you battle rap was against Lady Caution. That's the first oh. time I ever met you. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed. Ever since then, I dug in the crates and, and looked at all your battles. And them joints was all the same intensity. I feel like you undefeated for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Like, what way? Yeah, the way I met you was crazy because it like we clicked instantly. Like, uh, we were just sitting there bidding. <laughs> right, like, right, right. Yo, leave a comment. Leave a leave a question for Zane, man. If y'all got any questions for Zane. Yeah, let's get this question and answer proper, and I'll answer any question. Huh? Who about the yeah, you know. <laughs> it's always so. Yeah, it's always, you're always so. busy. That's why I appreciate you giving me your time for this battle because you stay busy. People don't know that like, you do a lot of things. Like, like, is there any other passions you got besides battle rap? Being a mom, a caregiver, helping people. Yeah, I find joy right. in helping people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Like, like, when did you start taking battle rap serious? Um, anytime I take a battle, I take it serious. Um, I'll say like I started battle rapping. I started battle rapping in two thousand and hold. Let me fix my phone. Sorry. I started battle rapping like two thousand and twelve, and um, that's when I realized, all right, it was something special about me because I always could rap. Like, I've been rapping for a long time since the DVD era, but I never was like, oh, let me put myself out there. It was kind of like a, oh, my brother and his friends in the crib rapping. And, oh, wait, hold on. My little sister knows how I rap too. And then I'd jump in a cypher or something. But, right. yeah, like 2012 is when I, uh, like, when I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start taking opponents. They're asking me crazy questions right now. But, like, I'll be telling you, like, you know what I mean? My advice to you is don't, don't all, go entertain. Zan base in this bitch. I see y'all in the comments. <laughs> Shout out to the Zan base. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Perry. Like, don't try to. Like, what did you get Zan base? Where did you get Zan base from? This, you know how they be doing um the automated calls from the schools? I'm thinking, yeah, but where did you get the Zan base from? What? You. One day, I just, one day I looked up, we was on live, I was doing a live and you was toying with the name and you was like Zan base. And I was like, I like that. I like that. I'm like, I'm honored that you're running with that joint because that joint is very like marketable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got a lot of supporters. So shout out to the Zan shout base. You feel me? To the Zan base. So hold on. <laughs> You know they're gonna keep on hitting their phone. I, I was prepared for this. You hear me? <laughs> Especially when they see you live with the damn guy, Philadelphia Gates. He's gonna have that for the back block, Philadelphia mascot, aka the damn guy with Zanny. It's Zanny and Earth, and we with Zan right now. You know what I'm saying? The face of female, face of Philly female battle rap. You feel no. me?
Oh, listen, on some shit, no disrespect to anybody that ever interviewed me, y'all. Like, I'm so busy. Like, I literally have to get, I'm going to have to get a phone just for Battle Rap. I'm telling you, like, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, like, everybody know I got children. So, like, bear with me. I got to get a Battle Rap Jack. Damn, it's I a bar. I got to get a Battle Rap Jack. Pennsylvania. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yes. What's three things you dislike about Battle Rap? The drama. The right. drama. The, the, I don't like the drama, but I, I know that comes along with the territory because we all are very aggressive. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we all feel like we got something to prove, but I think, like, I don't see that people know how to make the, um, differentiate between real life and battle rap like and i know people be like yo no this is really how i am in real life like no you're not you don't tote no guns you're not shooting people you're not sitting out on the ops like just don't do me like that just kill me in the battles and respect me in real life like that's it. right right same as i would do for you right um that's one right. thing i don't like mm. I don't I don't like uh bad business dealings with like league owners. And right. this period. I don't like the bad business dealings. Like don't ever try to play me like don't don't look at me like I'm regular because you able to get over on somebody else because I'm a businesswoman at the end of the day. So I'm not not no regular gullible female. They gotta run through the niggas or fuck the niggas to get a look like nigga, I know what I want and I wanna stand on business about it. Facts, facts. Like so, far as far as like music, like are you interested in making music, or you just want to be strictly battle rap? Nah, like I wouldn't mind making music. It just um, I'm gonna say I had a bad experience in the studio, but like in the beginning when I first started rapping, it was like, all right, come on, let's get in the studio, let's get in the studio, and then and like I don't know, maybe just the studios. I went to three different studios, and I just didn't like the studio environment. If that make any sense? Like, if you got a popular rapper that come in, they that engineer want to cut right into your time and because they don't want to displease them i had that right. happen then i had another situation where it was like people were sitting in on my sessions and i couldn't create how i wanted to then i had another another situation where it was just a, a bunch of bitches in the in there and it was a, like yeah not, so a, my three, not, not a creepy jason a freaky jason a freaky, not a freaky jason in there. <laughs> <laughs> with a freaky jason yeah, so, but I, I, um, I recorded a couple things, not no projects, but like, oh yeah, let Zane jump on his joint, so, that's that, yo, three letter man, let me see, first of all, they want, all they want me to ask you, who was your toughest op? Who was my, my toughest op? Right. Kate Prophet. Sure, why you say that? Because she smoked me. Because <laughs> she smoked me, you know what I'm saying, like, Reason and I can and I can stand on it because I really respect her pen. I respect her as a person, and we and you know what I mean. I went in there, I was underprepared, but that had to do with shady dealings. You feel me? But right, she had more material than me, and her material was really really good. So I'll say she was the toughest opponent that I had. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I love this question. This is one of my favorite questions. I want to know what you're going to say. It ain't got to be hip-hop neither. But if you had a theme song when you enter the room, what would your theme song be? Oh, I got a couple different ones for a couple different battles. So, Bodak Yellow, when I when I battled um, Caution, that's all I kept. You can fuck with me if you wanted to. <laughs> this is red bombs. Like, or, like, normally, like, I do, uh, once again, it's on. By Benny Siegel and Jay Z, like, that's, that's my go-to. Yeah, cause like that shit, that shit get me turned. Like I'll be ready to go. Right, right. Like if you had, a, they said, they somebody said, we will we see you on Crow. Um, um, I'm working towards it. Yeah, I don't see. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I don't, sure, I don't see sure. no barrier there. So yeah, look out for right, it. Right. You know what I'm saying, just put some good vibes out there. Let it be known y'all want to see me on Chrome, and then y'all will. It's really about me doing the work and y'all pushing me. Like, y'all want to see me right. on Chrome? Come tagging me. Why is they not on Chrome? Put Zane on Chrome. And that's how that's when the next time we gonna see you on the stage? When the next, when your next battle? Oh, I, I battled um, December 16th. Um, I battled Cash Flow Rizzy. Believe. Hmm? 
For I me. don't want to drink it. Listen, what? We want to trench this with it, nigga. <laughs> we in a trench. That's fire. You know You're ready. I'm trying. Like, who, you, who, you, who, you, who, who are your kill bill is? Like, who you want to battle? Name five people you want to battle. Like That I want to battle? Yeah. I yeah. want to battle 40. I want to battle Jazz. I want to battle Hustle. I want to battle Shy Rats. I want to battle First Lady Flames. I want to battle Shuni. I want to battle Fever. I want to battle, I want to battle all what? the bitches. Like, I want to all the bitches. <laughs> Dana, Yo. when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Like, like, is there anything that you would leave out your material that you don't like to rap about? Or you would say anything, like? I don't say anything. Um, When I'm writing for people, I try to, like, stray away from, like, dead family members because I got, mm. a, like, a special respect for the dead. And um, because I, I just was raised that you don't, you don't ever sneer at somebody who, who died. I don't care what the circumstances was because whatever they did in life is what they did in life. And now they went to go meet the person that, that needs to judge them. So I don't have nothing to say about nobody that ever died. Right. Um, right, right, right. Yeah. And then um, I would I would like for people to not speak on anybody that I care about that died. Yeah, but I think everything else is fair game because, like, it, bitches be talking about they going to fuck my bitch. Hmm? But it's tasteless though. Like anybody go that far. It's like, come on, man. It's not it don't take skill Why, to just say somebody make fun of somebody dead folks. Yeah, and you he don't get no that cool. name right. It ain't Zane, it's Zane, my good brother. Z A N. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? And Zane is one of my favorite authors, but that's not me. <laughs> I'm Zane I'm like a Zan that's your favorite authors. Like, Zane based favorite? niggas, we in this joint. Speaking of favorite authors, like if you had to, if you could, as far as music, who would you want to collaborate with in the industry? Making music, I like whose style do I like? In the in the battle rap world or in the oh, regular world? R and B, R and B or uh, rap, as far as in the industry, the real hip hop industry. I like, like SZA. I think me and her got a good vibe. Like I think we would mesh well. Um, one because she brings that soft girly, and I'm a little rough around the edges. So I think we will balance each other out. If I was to go the R and B route, you can't mess with Mary J. Blige. Um, she is, she is, I ain't gonna call her a street B I T C H or whatever case may be, but she definitely mm -hmm. hood and she know what goes on in the streets. So I think that would be a good joint. I love J. Right. Um, right. Like I'm gonna be like, crazy. Like a, like a Beanie Siegel, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying like people like that, I like Kiss. If I right. had to collaborate with somebody new, probably Young Thug, Free Young Thug. Um, I love Future, but I don't know if I'll be able to clear his energy too big for me. Your energy is huge too, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I ain't gonna act like, like that's the thing about you. Like you're very nice in person, mm -hmm. but you change in the thing. Like. And that's what people need to have when it comes to this battle rap shit. Like they even be trying to be the image they trying to portray too much, or you know what I mean? They don't like know how to sleep. They don't know how to separate it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't know how to separate the business from the actual uh, from their life. Mm -hmm. Thank like, you, um, Big R and R. I see what you just said. You know, bitch is not better than me, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, nobody fucking That's the different issue that I'm talking about. Like. Yeah. I could be myself. I'm true to myself. So people is like, oh, she's such a sweetheart when it comes time for me to be aggressive. <laughs> you know, I'm putting it in my bars and I'm going to the Talk battles. To or if I got to stand on business, don't ever right. think that I'm just that sweet that I won't stand on what I stand on. Right, 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 right. If you had, a, if somebody had a gun in your head, right, you got to choose one or the other. You rather look, you rather win in the, in the, in the, on camera or in the building. In a building, I don't know. Wait, mm. I ever. I'm gonna tell you why I ever went in the building because that's is the most nostalgic, right? But on the contrary, if people who didn't see it in the building, people who didn't see it in the building, hold on, right. that, that's kind of, and then and then it, and then, and then it comes across on camera like um she won. Then yeah, like I. I don't know. Gun to my head, I probably wouldn't be able to choose. 
I like both. Right, right. I don't know. Yeah, like both. I think both are equally important. For I do, but you gotta make a choice. All right, let me see. I wanted to come across on camera. That's where I wanted to come across it. Reason being is because you can keep running it back. And right. If, if something went over the heads in in the building, at least you'll be able to see it on cam. And like, oh shit, I didn't even catch that, John. So yeah. Right. 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 Like. As far as like if you if you could take five people with you, OT from Philly to battle with you, who would you pick? Right. Take now, with you. If I could take five, now now listen, when you say battle with me, to support me in my battle or to, to go, support you, to go, to go against me. the ops, to go against the ops, the Avengers. Um, who would you want to be the Avengers? Okay. Um I would fuck with right now, I would fuck with Tara. She going with me. I'm saying you talking about from the city or just battle rip or overall? No, oh, no. Philly, oh, from like, Philly. Yeah, Tara, Muwap, fucking K Walker, because that's all he do anyway. Easy, and motherfucking, I like OG Capri. Motherfucking, I got a couple, because you got, you got Ken, Confusion Bull. What? Like, his pen crazy. Like, y'all just got catch up and Thanks. fucking, um, Ness. I mean, it's, it's more, like, I fuck with a, a I, I, I gravitate towards a lot of motherfucking spitters. So, right. and I mean, it's more than five people in the city that I believe will represent me correctly. Phone be booming. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. You got a hustle period, period. 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 Dying. And it's crazy because I really need to take this call, but I'm not going to because I ain't going to disrespect <laughs> what time, our time. I appreciate it, yo. Yeah, we'll yeah. like, yo, King. Is it? You already said that, though. What about? Like, you, you already said that, too. Damn, you said that. Like, do you? And let's not forget. You find it, do you find it difficult? Do you find it difficult or easy to prepare for somebody you think is trash? Die. No, it's difficult to prepare for somebody who you think is trash. <laughs> Reason being is because you gotta go through the whole catalog just Dude. to see where their strong point is, so that you can start focusing in on that. But then you gotta listen to all that wasteful garbage that they got, and it's like, then you just took the money mama. from me. <laughs> Why my mom will hand a season interview? Like, let me find out. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, you gotta go through all of it. Like, you gotta you gotta get it a dirty laundry and all that. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's another thing too. I try to steer clear of like uh people personal mess. Um if I if it's worth using then I'll use it, but I never really focus on like Oh, let me get personal because my thing is battle rap is about bars. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People be spitting fake personals all the time. Right. People spit right. fake right. personals. Hey, listen, if we don't live on the same block and we don't do business together, I don't know you personally. Whatever I think I found out about you could be a rumor. It could be a lie. It might not even be real. So right. what's the point of digging on right. that dirt? I could just if it was that important for me to come up with personals, I would just make a bunch of fake personals like everybody else do. I ain't gonna lie. But not like fake, like, not like, oh, like you a snitch and you went, like, that's that's way too far. I'm talking about, like, yeah, bitch, your house stink. <laughs> <laughs> People told me your house smell like mice. <laughs> what, about, what about, like, co ed battles? Like, would, would you battle with dude? Um, yeah, I would battle with a nigga. Yeah. Who would you battle? What nigga? What I battle? Um, what nigga would I, I battle? I ain't never. I mean, I toyed with battling uh K Walker before. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that should be crazy. And um, I like you and Quantum. That'll be crazy. I think that would be uh. Jesus. That'd be a mind fuck. <laughs> it will be. But like, well, what do you think people misunderstand about you the most? Oh, um, and bit okay, and battle rap. I think that in general, in general. Truthfully, I don't care for people to have an understanding of me. Like, I really right. don't care. Like I be I move around too much. So what they need to understand is I'm very busy. If it ain't making no money, it ain't making no sense. Life ain't about sitting around waiting for something to come to you. You gotta go get it. So 
whatever avenue I can take to make some money or further my children, that's what I'll be focused on. So I don't really care if somebody don't get it. Like, oh yeah, I don't under, I don't, I don't get her. Like, I don't care. That's what people need to that's understand, true. though. I really have a um a keen sense of not caring, though. Like, even when I care, I don't. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I care, but I don't give a fuck. So that's what they misunderstand about you. They think that you give a fuck. And I don't. Shout but out I to Tash. That. Just came in. She wanted a opinion. One of the opinions you, you said you'll take with you to battle the ops. Mm -hmm. You said she'll take Taz, a couple people. That's love. Yeah. Real rap. Somebody like. She doing her thing. She she working. You feel me? This is a good question for you because you already been here, first of mm -hmm. all. But now, well, you, yeah, uh, no. I see you. Is it easier? Like, 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 what's your favorite genre of music besides hip hop? That's a good joke. I don't know if this, like, I like listening to people who got a voice. Like, so I don't know if you would call it like R and B or soul, but like, I'm into like Sam Smith, Adele. You know, I like people who, uh, who music make me feel something. So like Alicia Keys, because she's like the epitome of like a loving woman. Um, yeah, songs that touch me or make me feel, it might not even, the topic might not even resonate with me, but if it, if it sounds good, then you know, mm -hmm. if it make me feel good, then I'm with it. I don't do nothing. Right. Right. What about like, like. Do you look at uh, do you look at battle rap as like therapy? Yeah, for sure, huh? For sure, because in my chaotic life, like everything that I got going on, I know battle rap is what I got for myself. Like that's my thing, so I put my I'm gonna put my all into it. I'm a, you know, I'm gonna put my all into it. Yeah. Right, right. Like in general, your biggest influences in life. Who is your biggest influences? My mom and my dad. For sure, right? Yeah. My mom is a phenomenal person. My mom overcame a lot of things. I was right there with her watching her overcome. So she, she taught me to be resilient. And then my dad, instead of being like overly masculine, mm -hmm. um, which he, my dad is a man man. Like he a man. Like my dad set the tone for the men um, in my life or just any deal. It's not just in a relationship way. My dad is a solid man. So it's like, right. My, yeah, my dad taught me how to work my way through things, talk my way through things, be calm. Where my mom was, my mom was very aggressive. My mom is like aggressive with everything that she do. Like whatever she wants, she gonna have it. But my dad was kind of like, you know, ease your way through and be a woman. And um, right. yeah, for my mom and my dad is my biggest influence. And then my sister, like my sister, taught me to be smart and use my mind. You feel me? My dad right. told me to be calm and work through things. My mom told me, don't stop, get what you want. And my sister, like, use your brain. Like, know, know your audience in every in every area. Don't ever go on right. and right. stupid or slow. Like, no. So, and it's not about being a manipulator, but if you know all the pieces on the board, you know how to move. Like, 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 what's your favorite, your top three battles that you like to watch that motivated you to, like, want to be a battle rapper, like? Right? Um, when I seen the two on two, I think it was Farah and somebody versus Don Lady and Tori. I forgot which I forgot the the matchup, but it was a two on two. That was the first battle. Yes, first of all, rest in peace to my sister. It's it's Juma right. Friday. Y'all make do out for my sister. If it rain, call her by her name. Her name Amina. Ask a lot to forget my sister. Her sister at me. Hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how we coming. <laughs> and um, that two on two. I was sitting on the couch or my step in front of the door and I told my uncle, like, I could do this. I'm going to get on Queen of the Ring. And he was like, nah, sis, they different. Like, you know how I read, but they aggressive. Da, da, da. So that was the first time I seen, like, back to, like women going at each other in battle rap. And then I really like watching QP versus QP. Yeah. Not just for the bars, but it was like one was performance, one was bars. And I like I liked the way they came together. So that's one of my favorite battles to watch because it was funny. It was, <laughs> it was bar heavy. It was like a lot. So that's one of my favorite battles to watch. Um, What's the best diss record of all times? Damn. The best diss record of all times? I think we talked about this before too. Yeah, um, we actually did. It was we was going over different diss, diss records before. Uh, 
the best diss of all time was when Tupac yeah. hit him up. <laughs> Tupac hit him up was crazy. Yo. Um, <laughs> that girl was crazy. <laughs> Tupac. It gotta be, it gotta be number one. Yeah, um, that joint was crazy. And then you got Beans. Yes, Mom. I'm, I'm, I'm going to interview. I just want to talk about you. What? I'm going to interview with Mel. <laughs> hey, baby. <Hi. laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, like if you could be remembered for one thing, what would it, like when it's all said and done, what would you want to be remembered for? Um, taking care of my children, taking care of people. I knew you were gonna say that. That's I knew she was gonna say that. That's yeah. being an objective. You know, she's such a sweetheart. That's Feel me? Yeah. That's what I that's what I would hope to be known for. Everybody saying hi, mom. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. I like them. They probably won't like them. If they don't, I'll take them. But wait, hold on, Mom. Let me, I'll be done this in a minute. If you, if you could give, if you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? My younger self? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, if I can give my younger self any advice, it would be, sis, you is doing a good job. You finna be a legend, sis. You finna be a legend, don't change nothing. Everything was for experience purposes. I learned from a, my mistake. Right, right, right. That's it. Right. I don't, I don't think, regret nothing. You, you think battle rap kept you out of trouble or got you in trouble? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I know once I step into the battle rap field, it's like such and such want to fight. Right. Oh, I don't like her. That's uh, I was like, I can't say nothing. You know how they be being arguing. You like the only person that I ever interviewed that said it got got them in trouble. <laughs> That's no, crazy. Because every time That's I speak, you know, if I speak on something, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I get the bid in, next thing, it's guaranteed. If I'm bidding with another battle rapper and we going back and forth, I guarantee that the net, like, very shortly, very soon, it will be, oh, I want to fight you. Right. Where we at? Like, as far as, uh... And listen, as far as listen, like, though, what I will say is this. I used to fight... I used to fight a lot when I was younger, so I would say I don't really get into too much of that no more. But, like, I was known for fighting people in my younger years. Like, it was like, oh, she bony, but she can fight. You feel me? I get it from my mom. It's, it's like, when it's pretty, that's what comes with it. Facts. Like, would you be a model? I used to model when I was younger. Are you interested in modeling in the future? If, listen, if it's a good payout, if it make money and it makes sense, we can get it. And I don't got to compromise myself. Anything you, want, anything you want to do is going to make money. So would you model or not? Yeah, I would model as long as I don't got to compromise my dignity. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do nothing that's ever going to compromise me as a person. Acting as well? Yeah, I would do acting. Cause you know I, I do real theatrical. Where we at? Like, like well, if you had to make a choice between, you gotta make one or the other. Like, is the internet a nuisance or a benefit? Both. And you said I gotta pick one of another, but of I'm gonna course. say the internet is definitely a benefit for me. Right. It's not more of a right. nuisance for me than it is a business for me because I use the internet. When you use it, how you? They calling that phone like, yo, man, leave a leave a question for Zan, man. Philadelphia Gates East Coast have not for the back right Philadelphia mascot, Bull Mills or Wills and all that. I'm a little lackadaisical right now. I popped a couple of Irkies. I prescribed them drugs though. I feel good. I do. <laughs> They had me back. Somebody interrupted my whole yeah you know I mean. But I, I got most of my questions done though. For real, for real. There's a couple more though. Them joints crazy too. Where's she at? There she is. Let her throw through your body. Ooh. 
No, nah, my bad. My other phone just did something weird. It was like the temperature. I had them cracking up, though. You know I'm going to entertain you, you heard me? It's never a dull moment with Miller Dove. Hey, listen. What about... Ooh, All right. Check this out. These are my fun questions. Okay. Nah! If you could be reincarnated as any animal, what would it be? If I could be reincarnated as any animal... Facts. I will be an elephant. <laughs> Cause we Why? Don't and I step on shit. <laughs> we'll forget and I step on shit. Yeah. Bars. And you know, how they don't let nothing slide. They come back at all. <laughs> they memory crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, out of your five senses, if you had to eliminate one, which one? would it be hmm. taste fine you love to eat you sure no listen i'm really a foodie and that's my love language you feel me but i need my eyes to see and i need to be able to hear i need to be right. able to touch things so it's either going to be smell taste or feel because I, I need said, my eyes and my i said smell that smell yeah you know, I because you can smell danger, man. <laughs> you can taste the smoke, though. Nah, a man, a man, yeah, no, listen, if I smell the smoke, I'm out of there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay just if, the house was, if your house was on fire, name three things that you would grab. My kids, my kids, of course, my kids. Of course, of course, like, materialistic thing. I would grab material, not my children. Um... Just like, uh, I got some things from my sister that I would grab. Um, right. My mom, sentimental things, of course. Like sentimental things. No, like I got a, I got one picture of my mom in my house. I would grab that joint. I got some things that were sentimental between me and my sister. I would grab that. And, uh, you the only picture in my house that's hanging up. I don't have no pictures of nobody else hanging up in my house but you. Every other space is there. Oh my goodness. But all right, let me see. So I would grab my mom's picture. Yeah. I would grab some things that I got of my sister and my gun. Because y'all. Make them longer. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, my pistol. I don't want to lose it in the fire. <laughs> but you got any predictions on the, on the car coming up? What's that? Who battling coming up? If you throw off the. Homecoming. Oh, you, I ain't, I know they on the cards, right? But I ain't really paying attention because I'm on a card right now. So I'm paying attention with my plate. What? It's a fact. <laughs> what can we look forward to? Like, we, can we look forward to some music from you next year? Like, what are we doing? Yeah. Yo, I'm trying to see. I'm a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a food truck with me. My mom is talking. Oh, I told you how my mom is business, business, business. <laughs> she, she said, what you going to do next year? She's like, I'll get a food truck with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we doing? Yeah, I'm going to be raping on a food truck. That's it. <laughs> yeah, get y'all platters. And y'all get y'all rounds in y'all platters. You if you had one thing to say to the youth, what would it be? If I had one thing to say to the people to the youth to the youth oh, the youngins listen let me tell you something to the youth life you only get one of them so that murdering shit is dead that murdering all that killing one if you believe in god stick to what you believe in don't let the world compromise you i'm saying like all that killing stuff is not cool and don't ever for a second think because you're in a bad space or a bad situation living situation or whatever the case may be that you can't make it out of it because if you do good in life god you know if god rewards you with life then it's always another day to change it's always another day to do good so don't ever count yourself out and don't let nobody that's wrong oh the youth is crazy and did it. don't let them count you out bro don't let them count you out. You got this. Right. You right. got this. Right. When speaking, speaking of the young, young brothers, like, what's three things you look for in a man? So what's three things that I look forward to in men? That you look forward to in a man or turn you off about a man? Three things that I look forward to in a man is a, a good relationship with his mother. 
Mm -hmm. um, that's important. As long as he got a good relationship with mom, then they let me know that he has some type of love for women because these dudes be misogynist, narcissist, and all of that. So those are things that I stray away from. But if he honest, even if he ain't right, but he honest about it, I can, I do. I'm a respecter of people. I can deal with that. And they are motivated. They don't even gonna give and up on it. Medical history. What? His medical history is important. Let's go with honesty, though, mom. We know. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. real rap though. You blanking out? What you say? I said, I said, mom, mom has spoken. You know, things that I don't like about men is I don't like niggas that be involved in female stuff. Like you can't have no female traits for me. I'm sorry. Right. To to be um, um feminine, cool. Like I believe, like men have femininity as well. But to a certain extent, right. like niggas that put wigs on to get laughs because no, it's not there. Um, or <laughs> it was the act gay. I don't like this stuff. I don't like no. I don't like that. I don't. I'm not. I'm not against homosexuals, but for me, somebody who I'm dealing with, or somebody I got in my space, I, you got to be a man. You got to know to protect women. And if you don't like, if I'm arguing with a dude, it should be no reason why I'm near you and I'm arguing with a guy. Like, either you gonna shut right. that and we ain't gonna argue at all, or you gonna take up for me. Right, right, right. It's very important. Like, what about the state of female hip hop right now? How you feel about that? I don't like it. What bothers you about it? Because they put they making the youth think it's okay to be whores. And they making it like it's okay to be pregnant barefoot shaking your ass. I don't like that. I don't think that that's okay. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I understand like sex sells and being comfortable in your sexuality and all of that, but it's where you draw a line. And I feel like, I feel like the industry is targeting the black woman. I mean, and then, I mean, somebody could say the same about better rap. Like y'all sit and y'all tear each other down, da, 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 da. but yeah, I think that the um, industry is targeting the black woman. I think they already targeted the black men with drill music, got them killing each other, and then they got us making us feel like we worthless. And and our worth depends on how naked we could be or our ass shaking and all that other stuff. I don't like it. But that's why the, the, the people like they misconstrue it. That's what the whole thing about battle rap is and hip hop in general. Like it all started from competition, and these young boys really like killing each other instead of competing with the intellect. That's why battle rap is a beautiful thing. It's going back to, that's why the culture of battle rap is growing and music is falling off because they turned the, they turned the, the hip hop music into, you got to kill to be an artist nowadays, but it's about competing with each other, not about like trying to out kill each other. Mm -hmm. So they, they misconstrued that about hip hop and, and battle rap in general. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and then in battle rap, they think that you got to pull a gun to beat your eye. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You ain't got to, Rap about guns all day long and beat your opponent. I That's agree. why I admire your skills because you don't just do that. You don't just go to a gun reference. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you go around it. You know what I'm saying? That's what make you who you are. That's what make you the best. Right. And, and whoever don't see it, they will see it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you, bring, it's a, you bringing the vibes back. Yeah. Because battle rap is supposed to be about, yeah, tearing your opponent down, but how creative can you get in doing so? So right. if I got a thousand each round, it's like, Okay, I just killed you this way. I just killed you that way. Oh, I woke you back up and killed you. Oh, now I'm Freddy. <laughs> like, no, I can kill you other little. You really, you really the one for real, for real. Like, like, wish your, wish your grace, like, wish your grace period. Like, if if you if like, would you keep battle rapping after you reach your your financial? Get your stability, stability. Would you still battle rap after that, or is it all about the money for you? I'm only back in battle rap because I feel comfortable financially. What? That's why I kept taking. Great so, answer. Battle rap to make money, but if I'm going to do it, I want to make money. I don't want this to be my career where I'm depending on battle rap to live. No, that ain't it. Because then you basically selling yourself short. Because they always, 
is a cylinder. You only you only as good as what the next person think you are. You only as good as how much they think you should have. Like that's not that's stupid. Right. <laughs> that, right. Um, you feel like like the energy changed like when you wasn't making when you wasn't battle rapping. Do you feel like something was missing out of your life? Yeah, I'm gonna say because it was like all right, I really love doing it. I really enjoy doing it, and it was like. I couldn't even watch Battle Rap when I wasn't focused on Because once you start watching it and, and you a battle rapper, you want to do it. So I literally <laughs> of all from Battle Rap. Like all these new artists and all this other stuff, they, they got the years. I wasn't watching them. I'm just, just learning everything. Right, right. Like, like far as music, like do you got like a top five producers, your favorite producers that you would like to work with? Oh. I work with Kanye. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I feel like yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite producer. Yeah, I work with Kanye. Reason being is because all that slick talk he be talking, like bro, talk that to somebody else. Like the right. same way he feel like he big. I feel like I'm big. I don't feel like Kanye no bigger than me. Is he a, a billionaire? Yeah. Is he established? Yeah. Can I be a billionaire? Yes. Can I be established? Yes. His cards fell where they were supposed to fall. Mine's going to fall where they're supposed to fall. And at the end of the day, God got to let us say so. Because when he breathed breath into Kanye, I got some breath breathed into me too. Right. So that nigga right. is exactly human just like I am. Right. I went, I went mind working with him because he's a genius. Yeah, the clash of the egos would be amazing. It would. The talent and the egos would make instant magic. You hear me? Yeah. Like, he he had no choice but to respect it because all right i don't i honestly don't think that kanye's crazy i think he's very smart right right but I, kanye don't even like people to say that they don't think that he's crazy because he's very smart you know me? like i don't know like the nigga which is zodiac which is zodiac i'm an aquarius but i don't really um i know you don't but the fans yeah. might be into the mm -hmm. yeah i'm an aquarius it's divine masculinity, all that good stuff. What a bear, bear. I'm saying. <laughs> you know, we, we got our different own logic or whatever case may be. We did. We free thinkers. Right, right, right. Like, like. So, what you? What's your prediction for this this Rizzy battle? Like, what you? What you gonna... <laughs> Twenty nine before she got there. She thirty after that day. <laughs> what? Yo. <laughs> Like I actually don't even I don't even know who she is, but you you're giving her a buzz right now because you even battle her. Anybody battles Zay gonna get a look. It's a good look for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's someone everything under the sun, you feel me? I love you, Mom. I love you back. Oh, this is a suki pooky butt. That's my thinking mama. He asked me who <laughs> most influenced me in my life, and I said my mom and my dad. Yeah. That's so how to get them brain sticks, you hear me? Mama. No, I'm about to be done. You said that 10 minutes when I'm off here. Well, well, I ain't gonna hold you. I got one more question for you. All right, go ahead. I'm listening. How you feel about my questions? I, I enjoy your questions. I enjoy your questions. I enjoy the interview. I look forward to do more interviews with you. Interview me again after the battle. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> right. So, Back to Rodi and Cheese. Okay. Shout out Zan, a.k.a. Zan Base. A.k.a. Zan Base. A.k.a. The first the the <laughs> you heard me? A.k.a. 3-0 in the making. A.k.a. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Zan Base. <laughs> Philadelphia East Coast have not for the back block Philadelphia mascot signing off with Zay the BSPN CRMG. What? Damn. Damn, the damn guy. Oh, oh, how long does it your writing creating process usually take? Somebody do you, do I you just asked. If the homework depends on the opponent, that's first. But like I said, I don't ever be trying to do no personals. I'll be trying to break their style down or to, just to see what what they are doing, you know what I mean? Like um the strong point. But the writing process the writing process take like 
I don't know. It depends on how much time I got. It, I, 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 it depends on the motivation. Of how bad you want to whoop the person ass, though. I, I believe. Like, if you really want to battle somebody, it's faster, I believe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, squad. I appreciate your time. You hear me? For having me. I said I want to come to the Muslims and, you know, be safe to everybody else.